Suppose there are 40 people who would like to be considered for three spots on a council board. How many different combinations of three people could you choose? Right away, this word combination is telling us that the order does not matter. We have combinations and permutations, and with a combination, the order does not matter. We're not specifying which spots uh, there are on the council board, as we will in example B. So let's make a little note here. With combinations, the order doesn't matter. And a good example of that, or another example of a combination, would be a state lotto or state lottery. And that is, when the numbers come out, 22 and, and 15, it doesn't matter that the 22 came out and the 15 came out last. They're just looking at what numbers came out and then just grouping those as uh, a five or six or however many numbers that are chosen in the lottery. So for this, you would say it as a combination, combination 40, choose 3. That's just how it's spoken. And then there's, of course, a, a formula for that, for uh, 40C3, and you can do that on a scientific calculator or just a formula with the factorials. And, and that's great. There's nothing wrong with that. But Excel is a little bit faster, so we'll use Excel. The command in Excel for getting a combination is equals combin. Uh, I'm going to find it here on the function, just in case, let's say you forget, just to remind you that if you forget uh, what the exact command is, then you can always use the insert function key or button, and then you can find it. Interestingly enough, this is not found under statistical uh, category, so I just went to the all category, and I'm just going to scroll down until I find the C and the combin. Here it is, combin. And then when you go to enter the function like that, uh, it walks you through it. It says, well, what are we doing the combination of? The number, we have 40, and I'm just typing this in, 40, 40 different people. And the number chosen is 3. So we get 9,880 combinations. Next problem, in B, we're being asked, how many different ways could you choose the three people to fill the role of president, vice president, and treasurer? Here are these positions do matter. We have a specific uh, uh, spots. So that's like saying that the 25 coming out before the number 15 is important. So with the permutation, the order matters. Or the order or the position matters. So I'll write that down. The order matters or the position matters, whether we have vi president, vice president, and so on, because it's different. If you've got three people, and in one scenario, Bob is at president, and in, and in another scenario, Bob is treasurer, uh, those, are, those are different scenarios. So with the permutation, you would say it very similarly. Permutation, uh, 40 choose 3, or written 40 capital P, 3. And there's another formula for this, and that's great to to be able to just punch it into a formula, but Excel is faster, so we'll use that. And I'm just going to type it in this time, so equals permut. That's, that's the command. Again, if you forget that, you can always just go up to this function, insert function, and, and go for it that way. Permut equals permut, open parentheses, and the number that we want, that's 40 people, and from that number we are choosing three, close parentheses, and quite a bit more. Permutation will be a larger number than, than combinations. So permutations. I have to spell and talk at the same time. All right. So there's a little example of combinations and permutations.